welcome back to my channel and it's the most wonderful time of the most why does it make sense in my head it's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to wait, I need an intro. Beers books welcome <laughs> blossoms and <laughs> and beagles she's chewing her leg today we're gonna talk about beers and books so I have five selections for us and I got these from a mixture of my own books and the local library so pay your taxes people because our libraries need it. <laughs> so anyway, um, the first book I have is Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. This one is the Netflix series. See a little sticker. Yeah. The characters still have the same kind of like personas, but it's very, very different. Um, which is cool, it's like a little spin-off. Um, but growing up I actually watched The Haunting, which was with Liam Neeson and Catherine Seda Jones, Queen. And um that movie was actually pretty good and it, it actually kind of follows the same situation that's going on and definitely way better. It's always really nice to read the book because you get so many little um details and cool things that just makes you connect more uh, with the characters so uh, yeah this one talks about all the different characters um, Theo and Eleanor and Dr. Montague um, basically it's about how like a house can be the thing that haunts you um, not necessarily a specific ghost but how the house like itself can come alive and haunt you and there's a bunch of other things too that are really cool that I think uh, Shirley Jackson may have put in there on purpose um, for you women out there um, but that's my personal opinion and we can talk about that more um, I haven't quite yet finished it but it's really good that is The Haunting of Hill House and now to move on to our beer. The first beer I'm going to mention is this Doghead Pumpkin Ale. Um, this one was made not in Austin, the Boston Beer Company. <laughs> I'm butchering it. But this is the first beer we have, so we're gonna try this. Um, so I kind of want to try different beers and kind of talk about them while I talk about books um, and kind of rate the beers themselves and how they taste. Um, this one has a really cool like little pumpkin head with some glasses which is cute because it's so nerdy and books are nerdy too. So this one I really like because you can really kind of get like a pumpkin flavor in there the first sip you take. Um, so it's really yummy. Moving on to our books. The next one I chose was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, this one is really magical and it makes me feel like warm and fuzzy and mysterious and fun and like I just feel like a teenager all over again and I really liked how it's kind of like a story of learning your skills and your values and the characters basically have to figure out what they're good at what um, their powers are basically like getting trained by different um, mentors and 
those mentors have their own experiences and their own thing that they have going on so i feel like it's really cool to see how those mentors and the habits they have kind of trickle down to their trainees um, and overall it's just really magical the way it's written it kept me really interested um, I do a lot of my readings during the day and mostly at night so at night it kept me really really interested interested <laughs> so it's really nice it's a good read um, it is a little um, it reads a lot younger but it's definitely still very fun to read and it's one of my favorites hence i bought it and this is my copy um but yeah it's really cool this one has like a little window and then it has the little circus inside um but yeah that's night circus the next book is night film so for night film um this girl is basically found dead somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. And then um, it's ruled as like a suicide and this guy decides to put it, put it on himself to like investigate more. Um, it turns out that her dad, the victim's dad, is actually a cult horror film director and he's actually really mysterious and um the films are known to be really weird and so he's actually investigating to find out what happened with his daughter and why there's so much mystery behind his family's like legacy um and he just runs into a lot of trouble trying to figure out what happened and i personally haven't um finished this book but it's a it's a good start so far it has my interest um and i'll let you guys know how this ends um it's really interesting i mean i'm really into horror films so that's kind of like a cool story plot and um just it's just like a good thriller and it's well written so we'll see how that goes i'm gonna open our next beer which is an austin brewed beer <clears throat> it's house of torment um, so House of Torment is actually a, a, a like haunted house attraction here in Austin um, and this is also considered a pumpkin ale. <clears throat> so we'll try this one. So let's see, let's check it out. Mm. <clears throat> so this one is not as pumpkin-y as the other one. Definitely an L. I personally like L's. They're kind of easy to drink and um, yeah. And I like the little spooky art in the front. Little vampire, a clown, a zombie. Um, <clears throat> So that's local to Austin, because I'm in Austin. Go Austin Nights. Okay, so moving on to our next books. Um, I have personally not read Jane Airy, and I know it's a classic. And I know that I should have read it by now, because I feel like everybody's read it by now. But that's why it's on my list, because we're getting better, and we're improving, and we're going to read it. Um, but <clears throat> it looks intimidating, it looks a little bit big, but the read, um, the letters look pretty readable, and it looks pretty good. I haven't started this yet, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I've heard that it's really um, written, like, mysterious, and, like, the mood that it creates, it's very, like dark and like fall-esque um so basically the main character lives with her aunt and she's trying to kind of learn how to live with that and then also like coming in, in coming of age <laughs> she's coming of age and like figuring out a lot of life things and lessons so um i'm really interested in reading this because again it's a classic and um, I've heard a lot of good things about 
Charlotte Bronte and the Bronte sisters. So um, I'm excited to read this one. And I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated on what my vibe is with it and what the feelings are. I'm excited to um, get all of these done. <laughs> So this one might carry over to November's read because it's not necessarily spooky, but it is fall related. So Jane Airy. And then lastly, but not least, we have The Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. A cool, a cool um, cover. It's a little sneak. So the Ninth House is a series. Um, there are other books of the, that come, that go with this. Um, I just started reading this. Say hi. Say hi. Yay, Rimmer. So here's the beagle. Book spear and one beagle. Um, <laughs> so the Ninth House. Um, is basically a story about a girl that goes to the school and basically it's very like dark academia like everybody's like really into their studies and like into their craft um and it's her story going through the school but she's actually a freshman in yale and she was raised in la so she's having to um learn how all of that goes um she's experienced a lot of trauma Riv, Riv, come and see with me and talk about books and beer come, come over here so she's experienced a lot of trauma from bad boyfriends to um a homicide and um yeah so she <clears throat> has to do that and then Let's see. So like her attending Yale is basically a second chance at like a, a redo or a do-over. So she comes from like the nitty gritty Los Angeles and she's getting to go to Yale. So she's having to like kind of adjust to that lifestyle. Um, she finds it kind of weird that she gets asked to go to Yale and then while she's in Yale, she starts figuring out all the secret like societies and all these mysterious things that are going on and it's kind of like spooky and very like magical and she starts figuring out it's from like the most elite to like famous people um celebrities and these people are like involved in this cult and she's trying to figure out what's going on so it sounds really fun really spooky for october um so yeah, that's Ninth House, um, and I'll let you guys know how I like that once I finish reading it. I started, and it's really interesting read so far. Very eloquent. I love the words they use and how they make you feel. Definitely very October vibes. Um, so yeah, to wrap everything up, the Ninth House, and then Jane Eyrie, which will carry on to the November reads, and then Night Film, which I'm super excited about. Um, an oldie but a goodie night circus and then of course uh, the haunting of hill house which is you know also a modern classic I guess you could count it as um, so yeah and then for today's beers I feel like I really like the pumpkin ale by dogfish I feel like that's the winner and that takes it home for me um, I really like the pumpkin flavor and I like that they called it a pumpkin ale because it really does taste like pumpkin um, Which I feel like it's really hard to get uh, with beer like the pumpkin flavor and it's not overwhelming um, So yeah, that's the winner Thank you guys for watching and if you guys like this give it a thumbs up um, you guys want to stay tuned to see about the books and more beer and my Beagle River. Um, yeah, we'll be back soon. See you later. Bye. Ciao.